More than 400 art lovers and just a few sceptics poured through the doors of the new gallery in the first hour alone. It was a chance for those behind the project to find out at last if all their efforts would be appreciated by the people of the town. The gallery, hailed as one of the most exciting outside London, features a virtual A to Z of European art, including works by Monet, Warhol, Picasso and Van Gogh. Do a lot for the children, I think, to, you know, create the more cultural scene, you know, and uh, hopefully I've produced some more painters and sculptures, you never know. <laughs> it's good. This is the best floor so far, I think. There's lots to look at. Very good. Very good. Very mixed as well, which I like. There's a lot of room for more scope. There's plenty of uh, wall space to put some uh, traditional paintings up there. I'm an ancient man. <laughs> The whole thing is set out absolutely amazing. I'm quite, I'm absolutely I can't get over it. It's really so amazing, and it will, it'll make Warsaw. The 120-foot-high gallery is deliberately set in the heart of the shopping centre, but its pale terracotta tiles have brought some criticism from locals, even though the design has won worldwide acclaim. I think the architect was a bit drunk yeah. when he did it. It's a good building. I, I think it's impossible that immediately everybody says, "Ah, it's great." But few could disagree over the quality of the Garman Ryan collection, donated to the town by Kathleen Garman, the widow of sculptor Jacob Epstein, and her friend Sally Ryan. She was a lady with huge energies and really wanted to leave something uh, of quality to the people of, uh, of the West Midlands. Let's hope they appreciate it. Bob Hockenall, BBC Middlands Today, Walsall.